Terrorism does not respect national borders. It affects all nations and can only be defeated collectively. So we must harness the power of multilateralism to find practical solutions. Across the globe, the United Nations Office of Counterterrorism, UNOCT, leads and coordinates an all-of-UN approach to prevent and counter terrorism and violent extremism. As the COVID-19 pandemic swept the world, UNOCT scaled up its efforts to help member states achieve a world free from terrorism by adapting and innovating to meet this challenging moment in the unprecedented 2020 environment, promoting multilateral cooperation remained at the center of UNOCT's work. As early as March 2020, UNOCT adopted a strategy to enhance business continuity while also prioritizing the well-being of all staff and leveraging technology to honor its commitments with member states. As a result, UNOCT brought together over 1,000 participants in its first virtual counter-terrorism week from 134 member states as well as civil society organizations, UN entities and the private sector who agreed on the need to strengthen international cooperation to prevent terrorists exploiting the social and economic impacts of COVID-19. Virtual diplomacy has matured rapidly as a new way of conducting international affairs. For example, over the course of the year, Under Secretary General Vladimir Vorenkov held over 100 high-level bilateral meetings with member states and international and regional organizations' representatives promoting international cooperation to counter terrorism and over 170 member states benefited from the capacity development work of UNOCT across the four pillars of the UN Global Counterterrorism Strategy with more than 3,200 individuals trained through 167 capacity building activities. UNOCT experts also participated in 86 outreach events building partnerships and multiplying impact. In February 2020, UNOCT held, together with the OSCE and Switzerland, a high-level regional conference in Vienna on addressing challenges posed by foreign terrorist fighters. In March 2020, just days after the outbreak of the pandemic in New York, the Global Counterterrorism Compact Platform was set in motion, becoming the main digital gateway to the counterterrorism efforts of the United Nations, connecting over 800 focal points from 126 member states and the European Union and all 43 global compact entities. In July, the UNCCT Expo was launched on the occasion of the Virtual Counterterrorism Week, showcasing through more than 20 videos, interactive maps and other innovative digital content how UNCCT has developed over the years into a global center of excellence. In August, UNOCT led the virtual commemoration of the third International Day of Remembrance of and tribute to the victims of terrorism, including through an audiovisual campaign entitled Not Forgotten – Stories of Remembrance of Victims of Terrorism. The United Nations Counterterrorism Center now implements 47 programs and projects engaging 175 countries in areas such as border security, youth engagement, de-radicalization in prisons, countering terrorist financing, launched as a global program in 2020, preventing and responding to weapons of mass destruction, and chemical, biological, radiological and nuclear terrorism, and cybersecurity. UNOCT is also working with other UN entities on a global framework to provide support to member states for individuals returned from Iraq and Syria. The office also continued to mainstream gender and human rights considerations into all of its work and to actively engage with civil society organizations. In 2020, UNOCT launched or expanded new and innovative programs to address member states' priorities. They include the Countering Terrorist Travel Program, which now supports 38 beneficiary countries to enhance terrorist detection capabilities using travel information in compliance with human rights. The Fusion Cells Program, which helps member states improve their decision-making, planning and operational capabilities to counter terrorism. The Sports and Security Programme, which focuses on the protection of major sporting events and the use of sport and its values as a tool to prevent violent extremism. The project on addressing the terrorist arms crime nexus by preventing and combating the illicit trafficking of small arms and light weapons and their illicit supply to terrorists. 
In the last quarter of 2020, the office established new program offices in the field, the International Hub on Behavioural Insights to Counterterrorism and the Parliamentary Engagement Office in Doha, as well as the UNOCT Program Office in Rabat as a training hub to build counterterrorism capacities and cooperation in Africa. This significant development in addition to the existing presences of UNOCT in Ashgabat, Baghdad, Bangkok, Bishkek, Brussels, Budapest, Dhaka and Khartoum will help bring UNOCT closer to the beneficiaries of its assistance, increase collaboration with resident coordinators and the UN entities operating in the field, better understand member state priorities, enhance the impact of its assistance and lead to cost savings that will help to extend funding for programs. In 2020, UNOCT also increased its engagement with key UN bodies and entities, including by briefing four times all member states and nine times the Security Council, actively participating in the Secretary General's Executive Committee and other UN leadership fora, and leading the drafting of five reports of the Secretary General to the General Assembly and the Security Council. To further enhance assistance to member states, UNOCT has strengthened existing partnerships and forged new ones. UNOCT signed six memoranda of understanding with international and regional organizations and for the first time one with the private sector under the Countering Terrorist Travel Program. Communicating the results of UNOCT's work in 2020 and raising the visibility of UN counterterrorism efforts has also been a priority. From active social media engagement to launching a new UNOCT website in all six UN official languages to tailored communication strategies and audiovisual products, UNOCT spared no effort to raise public awareness on the importance of tackling terrorism through multilateral cooperation. As UNOCT continues to rely heavily on voluntary contributions to fund its activities, we would like to thank our 34 donors for their support. UNOCT thanks member states and other partners for their continued support and is committed to keep working together for a future without terrorism.